I am very pleased to be here today as we witness the handover ceremony of Director General of the European Union Military Staff and Director of the Military Planning and Conduct Capability, Vice Admiral Hervé Blejean, to his successor, Lieutenant General Monsieur Van der Laan, when Vice Admiral Blejean took office in July 2020, we were in the middle of a global pandemic. Three years after, we are witnessing a high-intensity, brutal war waged by Russia against Ukraine at uh, the Europeans' doorstep. All of a sudden, concepts such as security and defense are no longer something abstract for our citizens. And logically, security and defense has climbed to the top of the political agenda. Russia's aggression against Ukraine has made it even more evident that we live in a world shaped by power politics. We live in a world where everything can be weaponized and security acquires new and multiple dimensions. Food security, economic security, climate security. The world security is being accompanied by many others to represent the complexity of our world. A world where we are constantly confronted with a battle of narratives and offers. Ladies and gentlemen, our security and defense agenda goes beyond our support to Ukraine. Let's remember that in March 2022, just one month after Ukrainians was attested, attacked by Russia, the European Union adopted the strategic compass, our plan of action to strengthen our security and defense policy by 2030. With that plan, we had put forward concrete proposals for a more effective operational engagement, for a stronger European Union posture in the maritime, cyber and space domain, for more investment in defense cooperation, and for strengthening security and defense partnerships. There cannot be a stronger European Union defense and no real common security and defense policy without a stronger European Union military staff within the European External Action Service. And now, it's my honor to present Vice Admiral Lejean with his CSDP medal for extraordinary meritorious service. Cher Ave, cette médaille, c'est quelque chose de plus, bien sûr, qu'un morceau de métal avec de jolies couleurs. Cette médaille est un gage de reconnaissance pour votre contribution extraordinaire à la défense européenne. Vous avez été un exemple exceptionnel de leadership militaire européen. Je tiens donc à vous remercier pour vos judicieux conseils, vos analyses pointues, votre travail acharné et surtout pour votre amitié. Ceci va rester.